Andrew from Yum Paleo, and today we're going to be doing a slightly more savoury smoothie. Um, and we're going to be doing one, it's called a tomato and avocado smoothie. So it's kind of the vegetarian version um, of a, uh, a Bloody Mary, I guess, or something like that, with, but without the alcohol, so not as much fun. Anyway, let's get started. Um, so we're just going to put a little bit of ice and water in there to get us kicked off. So I've got a cup of water. So that's just giving us a little bit of moisture. Um, just a little bit of ice because I like my smoothies. I like my smoothies quite um, chilly. Um, and we're going to start off by throwing in some tomatoes. Now I've got um, four tomatoes here and they're just quartered. So um, actually, I think I did five, but um, four would probably be enough. Um, I just really like tomatoes, in fact I'm probably going to stick with four anyway because I don't think five will fit in. So let's just see how that goes to start with. We might throw in the parsley as well too, so I'm just throwing in um, sort of a handful of parsley. Um, be careful not to put too much in there um, because um, it's quite overpowering, so when you, it's got a really good good flavour, good strong flavour there. And so I'm just going to put a couple of good sprigs in there. So, but again you can adjust the flavour to what you prefer but it's just sort of a bit there. And I'm just going to get this bit started off before I add the rest of the thing. So again we've got a few ice cubes, a cup of water, uh, four tomatoes and a couple of sprigs of parsley. We're just going to pulse this and get this going. stuff which is going to bulk it up. So I'm going to throw in a quarter of a red onion. Now um, I'm doing it raw because I prefer it that way. Um, however, if you find that the, you know I mean raw onion uh, well red onion particularly it has quite a sharp but a sweet taste. Um, but the other trick if you don't like that really sharpness of it um, is you just um, put it in some boiling water for a couple of minutes. Um, before you put it in there. So you just get your raw onion, pop it in there and you just pour some boiling water over it for a couple of minutes and then pull it back out. And that'll take the sharpness out of it. Um, however, I quite like the sharpness, so um, I'm going to just leave mine raw. So I'm just going to chop it into chunks because that makes it easier for the um, blender to get at it. And that's a quarter of a red onion. Try not to splash it everywhere and throw it all over the floor. Um, and we're going to use one red pepper, so again I've just popped it into chunks and again it's just that really lovely sweet flavour, so we'll throw that in. And we're going to throw in half an avocado, so I've just halved that and peeled it and I'm just going to put that into chunks as well and again throw that in. Okay, so white fingers. And see how this goes. than a typical smoothie, um, but I think that makes it a little bit easier to drink. So I'm just going to pour this out and see how this comes together. It's quite a yummy one for breakfast, so sort of get you started. 
It's got all the good stuff in it, not as much sugar and stuff that a lot of the fruit smoothies have. So there we go. Avocado and tomato smoothie. Enjoy. See you next time.